everybody. Welcome back to a, another loot video. If you couldn't tell, this is stuff that I got from the thrift store. Um, very cool place, very cool place. I love thrift stores. They always have cool, old, and unique items. Um, some items are things like that people's kids made. Like when me and my mom went, um, when I got the stuff that I have for this video, um, there was a mug that had that looked like it was made by like a middle schooler uh, kind of thing, which I think is kind of sad because that's someone's memories. That's something special that was supposed to be for someone. And now it's just sitting on a shelf collecting dust in a thrift store that someone might buy, break, or just buy because they think it looks neat. But I digress. Also, if it looks different, it's because I am upstairs uh, in my dining room right now. Um, technically dining room, it's kind of a combination of rooms, but mainly it's the table room. This is where our table is. Um, and yeah, I got stuff from the Ark, so we're going to start showing that stuff off. It's not going to be a lot. It's not going to be like the mall video where I have a crap ton of stuff to show you. It's just little stuff. And none of it's going to be cards. I have no mystery boxes here. It's just stuff. I'm going to start off with the stuff that I think is the most common. And then I'm going to end the video with probably the rarest find I think I've ever found at the thrift store. Um, besides those like first generation Pokemon cards that I found. But that will have to be a video for a completely another day. Okay. Okay, I'm reaching over. Sorry for anything happening. Okay, first things first, I'm going to show off a book. Now, you're probably wondering, Tom, why are you showing me a book? Why, this is, this is a gaming channel. Well, it's a gaming book. Skylanders. It is a Skylanders Academy, or Skylanders Universe, Skylanders Academy book. It is a book that they would usually have in schools for, like, learning how to read and everything. This is uh, Yun, Penguin Yun Readers, and this is the level three of the transitional reader uh, level. And if you don't know, uh, I'm a huge fan of Skylanders. I have a huge collection of Skylanders, which I'll probably show off in a future video, but that'll be when I'm actually playing the Skylander games, which probably will be in a few more weeks or a few more months when we actually beat the Mario game or the Mario plus Rabbids Kingdom battle, um, which I'm also planning of playing other Mario games. I'm surprised how many Mario games I actually have, but if you guys want a full video of me just reading this book, it, why not? It'll be cool. And it's really cute. I love the art that it's in here. Like, there's Terabyte, there's Spry, Thumpling. It's just, it's so cute. And I don't know if this is canon to anything, technically. But whatever it is, it's very adorable. It's got the mini characters, meaning characters from all over the games and stuff. Like, there's Chaos and Glum Shakes here on the right page. And... Even the little guys get to fight Chaos, which I think is really cool. It's even got an appearance of Master Eon. Um, but yeah, I got this for only $1.99. Pretty good. Also, everything I have in this video, I only made 13 or I only paid for 13 bucks because the arc is pretty cheap. Next thing is a movie. Now, the case of this movie is in horrible condition, and you'll see like right off the bat. It is Scooby-Doo Zombie Island. And you could probably see this case is just taped on. This right here isn't like the... I think it is the original. But like the plastic that's supposed to hold it in is gone. It's not even on this case. So they just taped it onto here. Which I'm not going to lie. Is kind of cool to have in your collection. Having something kind of rugged like this. And it does say Kids Movie Collection. Now, I can't read what that says because, obviously, it's covered up. But it's also looked like this has been in thrift stores all over the place. Because 
<laughs> that's the arc sticker right above some other sticker for uh brick and bark brick a bark brick and brick a brack brick a brack brick a brack that's cool <laughs> but yeah this is a movie i have never watched before and i kind of want to watch and maybe make a video for um but i don't know and then this movie was $2.99, which ain't that bad. Uh, let's take a look at the case real quick. There's the case. Very nice. It's got a very, very boring disc. I'm not going to lie. Um, also, this is not going to be like the mall video where I throw, where I show off a 360 because I'm close enough to the camera and you're not looking at my face. If you're interested in what my face looks like, here it is. Hello. <laughs> uh but what I might do is I might have a little bit of footage of the movie or the next movie that I have that I have in my hand um, playing in the bottom right of the screen. Obviously, I'm not going to have any audio to it. It's just going to be footage of that. But yeah, moving on is something from my childhood and not a lot of people know of, period. Um, you know the famous Dr. Seuss book, The Cat in the Hat? You know how he had a few different children's TV shows and everything. Well, did you know he had a Muppet-style TV show? This is the wubulous world of Dr. Seuss, the Cat's Playhouse. Now, this is freaking amazing. I absolutely love this as a kid, um, but also, as you can see right here, this was one of those things that was rented out by King Supers quite a lot. And if you also don't know, this is lovely. It's lovely. It's part of my childhood. I absolutely love it. And let's take a look at the disc. The disc right there, it's pretty much what you expect from a Dr. Seuss-like thing. It even says right there, Jim Henson. Uh, I'm reading, yeah, Jim Henson's World Entertainment, which means this was one of the was made by the same people that made the Muppets. Also, have you never heard of Jim Henson? Oh, who are you? How come you've never heard of him? Here's a screenshot, real quick, of Jim Henson's Wikipedia page. Um, Jim Henson sadly passed away a few years ago, uh, like a lot of years ago. Now that I'm thinking about it, um, but. I never really grew up with him until I got older, until I realized, like, oh, Jim Henson, if it wasn't for him, stuff like Sesame Street, the the Muppets, and stuff like Wubbless World of Dr. Seuss would not have existed. Also, more recently, the Jim Henson Company made the animatronics for Five Nights at Freddy's The Movie. Fun fact, really cool. But... Now we're going to go into the more high-profile items, which I'm not going to lie is pretty cool, but yeah. Here, I'm going to put these off like over here, so that way they're still in there and you guys can see them, but yeah. Next one is a cup of Halo, the video game. There's Master Chief right there, and you're probably wondering like, huh, that's a cool-looking cup. That's very nice. It's a Slurpee, whoops, it's a Slurpee cup. It's got the original Xbox logo. It's got the old, old Mountain Dew branding right there and is a 7-Eleven Slurpee Cup. Now this, as far as I'm aware, is kind of rare because I didn't know this was a thing. This is an old cup, as you can see right here. Let me go in a little bit closer. It says 2004. Now, if you have no idea, 2004 is the year I was born in. So this cup is either just as old as me or is older than me. And this is crazy. And like there's very little damage to this cup. And even if I was going to resell it, I probably won't make a lot of money because there's a bunch of damage, but I'll probably be able to make a lot. And guess how much this pretty cool 7-Eleven Slurpee cup was? Oh, where's the sticker? Luckily, I have the receipt over here. I got the cup for 99 cents. 99 cents for this. That is flippin' cool. I'm not gonna lie. 
um, oh, I remember why it doesn't have a barcode on it because when I picked it up, it didn't have any barcodes on it. And so the managers there were just like, well, it's a cup. Who really cares? It's 99 cents. But my, but they joked and said like, <laughs> uh, $100. And my mom was like, you know, what's funny. My son would totally buy that for $100. And you know what's sad is that she's 100% right. And mom, if you're watching this, I love you. But God damn it, mom, you know me way too well. But to be fair, <laughs> you did raise me for what? My entire life. So you kind of earned that respect. So if you're watching this, good shout out to my mom. Here, also, I'll leave a link in the end of the video to when me and my mom made a Pokemon card video of Detective Pikachu. That one's really cool. I really liked it. And yeah, but anyway, we're going to go off to the very last thing. I'm going to quickly clear off this because the last item is quite big and I'm kind of worried it won't show up on the camera, but it's also the most rare because I was reading the tag on it and it says it wasn't supposed to be in America. It wasn't supposed to leave Japan. Let me go grab it real quick. It is the head, a pillow of the head of a very cool video game character that's been across a lot of different games. Whoops, camera's sli slipping. But yeah, it's been around in a lot of different games, a lot of, uh, even other games than itself. The Chocobo from Final Fantasy. That is really big. I'm going to be right back. I'll go pause it and then give you a better zoom out. Whoa, don't fall, please. There we go. This is the pillow of the Chocobo head. And as you can see, as I go down and over here to the tag... Final Fantasy All-Stars, please focus. Final Fantasy All-Stars, 2015, Square Enix. There's Japanese writing on it and everything. Now we flip it over to the back of the tag, and it says Square Enix, Square Enix for use as a prize in Japan only. Japan only. This pillow is probably the rarest thing I have in my collection of stuff. And I only bought it for $1.99. I, I still can't believe that I have this. This is amazing. And when I, my mom was with me and I read the tag to her and cause when we first saw it, we saw it like this and we were like, is that a rocket ship? Is that supposed to be two different colored eyes and with hair or something? And then I was like, Oh no, it goes like that. That's a bird head. It's a chocobo. When I read the final fantasy thing and I was reading more on it. And then I saw that and I told my mom like, this wasn't supposed to be here. And she's like, well, what are you waiting for? Get it. And so I was like, okay, I'm going to get it. I bought it. That's amazing. I got this, an old Halo cup, <laughs> two DVDs, one from my childhood and one that I'll probably have cool memories of, and a book from a video game series that I absolutely adore. Now this, this right here, is a perfect ending. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It'll be quite interesting. And yeah, remember, be nice to one another. And the golden rule still applies in 2024. And if you don't know what the golden rule is, it is treat others the way you want to be treated. Have a good day, everyone. Love you all. And I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.